What's happening guys, Jared from Lethal Performance here and we are continuing on our Lethal Performance Fuel System Series. Today, we'll be going over the 11 to 17 Mustang GT Level 1 and Level 2 Fuel Systems. So listen, before I actually get into these fuel systems here and explain them, we're gonna talk a little bit about why they're needed, what other fuel system modifications are being used to support higher horsepower levels. Some of the more popular ones are gonna be a, a fuel pump voltage booster, uh, such as the Lethal Performance Fuel Plus, which increases the voltage to your factory pump, uh, allowing it to support more power, flow more fuel, uh, and again, allow you to support higher horsepower levels. We've also got aftermarket fuel pump assemblies, such as ones out of, let's say, a GT350 or a 13 to 14 GT500, which have two pumps and have modified outlets to accept an aftermarket feed and return line. Those systems are great. They've worked very well. Uh, however, again, there's certain levels or at a certain point, your tuner may recommend you to go with a, a higher capacity fuel system, all right? Uh, that's where these systems come into play. And again, it's very important to make sure that you do follow the recommendations of your tuner. They know best. If they know that you're gonna be running E85 and you're gonna be making this much power, let's say on a forced induction application, and they tell you that you need more fuel than what, let's say a fuel pump voltage booster or that other fuel system, the factory modified hat is gonna support, best take their advice and do that. And that's why we've designed the level one and level two fuel systems for that very reason. Okay guys, we're gonna get into the level one system first and then I'll roll into the level two fuel system. And then we're gonna talk about how to upgrade that level one to a level two for the guys who have already purchased that level one and at later on need to support more horsepower, okay? Uh, we've got the Division X triple pump fuel hat right here. Really nice piece, uh, actually holds up to three pumps. You can run in a two or three pump configuration. For the level one setup, we're gonna come out of this fuel hat with an aftermarket dash eight feed line. Really nice for Gola PTFE inner line, stainless braid on it, and then we actually have a nice protective vinyl coating that's gonna prevent it from scratching up your frame or anything in your engine bay. Again, really nice stuff and pre-assembled to the proper length, so it's very easy to do. You don't have to install any fittings yourself, all right? That will feed the Division X high flow fuel filter. We offer that with a paper or a stainless element. We do recommend the stainless element for ED5 applications. Coming out of this, we're gonna run it up into the engine bay and we're gonna go to the X1 regulator right here from Aeromotive. This is 150 gallon per hour rated regulator. Uh, it's a really nice uh, setup from Aeromotive. Works very well. We've been using Aeromotive stuff for a long time. It works, good stuff. Coming out of this regulator, we're gonna go and deadhead the factory fuel rails. You'll come out with another PTFE line hose from Fergola. It's gonna to adapt to your OEM fuel rails using an OEM style adapter. Very easy. That's a deadhead setup. Again, regulator before the rails. From that point, once the pressure that you've set is met, the return fuel is gonna come out of the bottom of this through another PTFE line and go back to the fuel tank, circulating the fuel, okay? Uh, I've got customers supporting 850 wheel horsepower on ED5 with the level one system. Again, it's a great option compared to the other stuff that's out there on the market. There's no need to skimp on fuel, guys. You spend all this money on a supercharger, you do whatever you can to make your car go fast. Why skimp out on fuel, have a blown motor, and then you gotta pay for it all. So you could just do it right from the beginning, get yourself a proper fuel system, all right? There you have it. Let's talk about the level two fuel system, all right? The level two. Unlike the level one, which is a deadhead setup, is actually a full traditional style fuel system. What that means is the regulator is placed after the fuel rails, okay? So we're gonna come out of the aftermarket fuel hat right here, go through the feed line and fuel filter, coming up into the engine bay. We're gonna split the lines behind the engine with a Y block and go to each rail individually. The nice Division X fuel rails right here, black anodized, high quality pieces, they fit perfect, okay? We're gonna feed the rear of each rail individually. We're then gonna come out of the front of each fuel rail going to the regulator. At that point, it will return back to the fuel tank, okay? So the difference now on the level two system, uh, not only on the routing, the only other real difference is level two, we use a regulator from Aeromotive with a 250 gallon per hour rating. It is actually the same regulator, same housing and everything, okay? Uh, when you do purchase level two system, we do send you the part number with the internals in it uh, for the 250 gallon per hour rating. Uh, however, talking about if you wanted to upgrade a level one to a level two system, here's what we do. 
Since the level one has pretty much all the main components in it, what we're gonna provide you in, in the upgrade kit from level one to level two is the Y block, the aftermarket lines that are gonna go to the rear of the rails and feed back to the regulator, as well as the fuel rails themselves. And then lastly, all right, we're gonna include the internals to this regulator to convert it from the level one uh, 150 gallon per hour rating to the level two 250 gallon per hour rating uh, regulator. So uh, we've got this set up really good guys. No need to skimp. You're spending all that money on making power, why skimp out on a fuel system again? And similar price systems that uh, compared to this one, you've got a lot better upgradability with this, uh, a lot higher quality parts. The tuners support this stuff here. So if you guys do have any questions on level one, level two, or the upgrade, please feel free to give us a call, 561-753-8105, Mustang King, and I'm out. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's have a good time. I'm working late. Gosh, no one is here right now. I have no idea why I'm alone. I'm hopefully gonna have a little bit of peace and quiet and no distractions. And hopefully I don't fumble my words as much as I do when other people are around walking by, banging on a door and stuff like that. So actually get into explaining the level one and the level two fuel system and explain to you exactly why. No, what the fuck am I thinking? God, how the fuck is wrong with me? I'm fucking drawing blanks here. I did the fucking intro. Here we go. Let's talk about the fuel systems. Take 20. All right. Okay. Uh, the regulator we use. Take 21. Man, I just why, why can't I just have some fucking fun with this and talk about it? All right. Moving on to the level two fuel system. That's right, level two. Not one. <laughs> uh, all right. Mustang King here. Take 40. All right, let's do this again one more time, all right? So getting into the level one and the level two fuel systems. I love doing this stuff, guys. I love explaining this stuff for you. It, really, this is like something that, that I really enjoy. No shit. Take 47. There you have it, all right? 